Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Basics. So we have started a lecture series of organic chemistry and in that we have seen in previous lecture that carbonyl and their reaction that part 1 was there. So in that we have seen structure and formation of carbonyl. Today we are going to see stabilization of carbonyl. If you are visiting this channel first time, you can subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, please share it. So let's go directly to the stabilization of carbonium. Which are the factors that stabilizes the carbonium are? So first factor is here, percentage of S character of carbonium. Second, inductive effect. Third, resonance effect. And fourth is aromatic stabilization. We have to see all these effects in detail one by one. So let's go for the first effect percentage of S character of carbon. Here I have taken some examples related to percentage of S character. So we have taken here ethane, ethane and ethane. If you see the percentage of S character of carbons in ethane it's 25 percent, in ethene it's 33.33 percent and in ethane it's 50 percent. And if you see their corresponding pK values, it's 52, 37 and 25. So for ethane as pK value is 25, that means this is the more acidic compound and ethane is the least acidic compound. Now why this acidity difference is there? So it is due to the percentage of S character. So as the percentage of S character increases, electronegativity of carbon atom increases. So in ethane, as percentage of S character is 50%, its electronegativity is higher. As its electronegativity is higher, it shows minus I effect. It withdraws the electron from the CH bond. Okay, or that bonding electron pair is pulled by this carbon towards itself, making this hydrogen more acidic. And therefore, it can easily form the carbanion. So all of you are getting it. How the carbanions are formed here? So due to this percentage S character, this hydrogen becomes more acidic and it is easily picked up by any base to form the carbanion. If you are seeing here, this carbon has percentage of S character only 25. So less percentage of S character. So it has less electronegativity and therefore the protons or hydrogens present on this carbon you cannot easily detach and therefore it is a weaker acid okay so this is about the percentage of s character let's go for the next inductive effect suppose we have taken these three compounds methane trifluoromethane and tris trifluoromethyl methane if you are seeing their pk values they are ranges form 43 28 and 11 so it is decreases from methane to tris trifluoromethyl methane now why that pk values are decreases let's see their conjugate bases or corresponding carbonyls so if you are removing the hydrogen or proton from these compounds you will get their corresponding carbonyls so if you see the first carbonyl that is methyl carbonyl, here is the hydrogens are attached to this carbonyl. So there is no any effect is operated by these protons. So no plus i or no minus i effect. But if you see the trifluoromethyl carbonyl, here fluorine atoms exerted minus i effect. So three fluorine atoms are there, they withdraw the electron from the carbon and stabilizing this carbonyl by decreasing the electron density at carbon. Similarly, if you are seeing this tris trifluoromethyl carbonyl, so there are nine fluorine atoms which withdraws the electron from the carbon enormously and decreases the electron density at this carbonyl. So highest minus I effect is operated as nine fluorine atoms are there. And therefore, this carbonyl is highly stable and hence the order is like this. 
particularly if you see here the order this is the highly stable and this is the least stable carbon so if minus i effect is operated definitely that carbanion is more stable let's go for the other example if you are taking this compounds it is the methane monoalkyl methane dialkyl methane or trialkyl methane and if you are removing the protons from this you are getting the corresponding carbanions now if you see the order this methyl carbanion is more stable and tri alkyl methyl carbon is least stable now why this happens because if you see here here is the alkyl groups attached to this carbanions and alkyl group shows plus i inductive effect electron donating inductive effect which is stabilize sorry destabilizes these carbanions and therefore stability order is like this so methyl carbanion is most stable while tri methyl carbanion tri sorry tri alkyl methyl carbanion is least stable so what conclusion we can draw from this so minus i inductive effect stabilizes carbanion by decreasing electron density at carbanion while plus i inductive effect destabilizes carbanion by increasing electron density at carbanion so remember this so let's go for the next effect it's a resonance effect here i have taken some examples which shows how the resonance effect is stabilizing carbanion so it's the first is methyl cyanide so if you remove the proton by reacting with any base so resultant carbanion if you see it is well stabilized by resonance because this negative charge is in conjugation with the multiple bond and therefore it will show delocalization so negative charge is spreading on different atoms in this case it's present on the carbon and in next resonating structure it is present on the nitrogen more electronegative atom is there and that's why because more stable so this is the additional stability to this particular carbanion if you are seeing this acetone if alpha hydrogen is detached from it so you are getting this carbanion and this carbanion is again in conjugation with the carbonyl group this is the carbonyl group and it will delocalized you are getting the next resonating structure again if you see here more uh, negative charge is present on more electronegative atoms so definitely this resonating structure has also having a greater stability similarly if you have a nitromethane and if you are removing the proton from this you will get the carbanion this resultant carbanion is also showing the same resonance stabilization nitro group is powerful electron withdrawing group and showing minus i as well as minus r both effects there and therefore therefore it stabilizes the carbanion very well so this is about the resonance effect so always remember that resonance effect always stabilizes the carbanions through delocalization so when carbanion is adjacent to groups containing multiple bonds just we have seen cyanide nitro carbonyl then carbanion stabilizations are more effective and therefore acidity of compound is also increases as the number of such electron withdrawing groups which electron withdrawing groups this if the numbers attached to that carbon or Uh, methyl carbon increases definitely stabilization also increases and hence acid becomes stronger so what's the conclusion a resonance effect stabilizes carbanion by decreasing electron density at carbanion through delocalization so always remember this there is one question related to this carbanion stabilization by carboxylate group obviously its ester is less effective than carbonyl group of aldehyde and ketone so let's take the example i have taken the acetone and ethyl acetate 
So from this acetone, if you are removing the alpha hydrogen, you will get the carbanion. This carbanion is in conjugation with the carbonyl group. You will get that resonance stabilization here. Okay. But what happens in case of ethyl acetate? After detachment of the proton, so you will get this carbanion. And this carbanion is again, if you see, it's in conjugation with the carbonyl, but additionally here, lone pair present on ethoxide group, it is also in conjugation with this carbonyl. So this lone pair is competing with the negative charge present on the carbon. So either this negative charge will delocalize or this electron pair will delocalize. So depending on that, you will get the next resonating structure. So due to that particular electron pair present on OET group, it restricts this delocalization and therefore it is not more effective when ester group is present there. Okay, when ester group is present there, that carbanion is not much more effectively stabilized. So remember this, this is very important thing. So in case of ester, lone pair of electron present on OET group that's the ethoxide group competing with negative charge for delocalization in carbonyl group and hence less effective stabilization of carbanion by ester group okay now let's go for the next and last factor that is aromatic stabilization i've taken some examples related to this so first example Cyclopentadiene forms carbanion readily due to aromatic stabilization of cyclopentadienyl carbanion. Here it is cyclopentadiene. These are the acidic protons. Now why these protons are acidic that will have to be. Suppose you are taking this base B and it abstracts this proton. So you'll get the carbanion here. Now this carbanion is in conjugation with this double bonds. And as it is in conjugation with this double bond, definitely it will get delocalized. And if you see here, as this particular delocalization takes place, so this species becomes aromatic. Now, why it is aromatic? Because it follows the Huckel's rule. What is the Huckel's rule of aromaticity? So, any species which contains 4n plus 2 pi electron system then we can say it is aromatic. So here is a 2 pi electron of this double bond. Here 2 pi electrons, so 2 plus 2, 4 pi electrons. And this electron pair, as it is used for delocalization, it can be counted in 6 pi electron system. So this 2 plus this 2 plus this 2, it becomes a 6 pi electron system. So this cyclopentadienyl carbanion has 6 pi electrons and therefore it is aromatic in nature and hence these protons are highly acidic and cyclopentadiene readily forms carbanion. Got it? Let's go for the next. If you have a toline, toline also forms a stable carbanion with strong base because carbanion is well stabilized by resonance. Let's see how here is the methyl group adjacent to this particular phenyl ring. So this is a strong base sodium ethoxide. It can easily pick up the proton to form this carbanion. Now this carbanion is in conjugation with the phenyl ring here and it will get delocalized in the ring. So such type of resonating structures you can draw easily. So it has this aromatic stabilization and this carbanion becomes very much stable one. So this is about the stabilization of carbanion. So today we are going to stop. In next lecture, we are going to see the reactions of carbanions like aldol condensation, then Claisen-Ester condensation and Perkin reaction. Okay. So if you like the video, just subscribe the channel, press the bell icon button so you will get the notification of the next video. Share this video and if you like, just comment in the comment section. Thank you very much.